ahead and show you how to make an orange glazed poppy seed bread that'll pop your eyes out. It's so good. I'm Angel Shannon and it's a taste of home time in my kitchen where we're going to start out with three cups of flour. We're also going to put some salt and some baking powder in and a cup and a half of sugar. This makes two loaves, two large loaves. So we're going to whisk this together. Okay, perfect. Oven's at 350, waiting to help us out. Now we have our wet ingredients. It's one and an eighth cup, it's a little bit more than a cup of vegetable oil. We've also got one and a half cups of milk. We're also going to put three eggs in here and two extracts. We've got some vanilla, a little more, okay. And then we've got some almond extract there. And we're gonna mix this together. Wow, does that smell good? It smells just like a bakery already. I'm just gonna mix this all together until it's good and combined. We're gonna go ahead and beat this for about two minutes or so just to make sure everything is, you know, having a party in the bowl, so to speak. Okay, now we have to add our poppy seeds. You either love them or you don't. I know people that are allergic to poppy seeds, so be sure that you check on that. They also make you turn positive on a drug test. No laughs from the audience? Okay. So we have one and a half tablespoons of poppy seeds. So I'd say that's about one tablespoon, a half. We're gonna mix this all together and then pour it into our already prepared, they're just lightly greased and floured pans. Okay, we're taking them into the oven for about one hour at 350 degrees. All right, our orange glazed poppy seed bread is just about ready to come out of the oven. So we're gonna go ahead and make the glaze. And I've got three quarters of a cup of sugar in here. Also, there's the fresh orange juice. I squeezed it myself. Half teaspoon of almond and also some vanilla. And we're gonna stir this until all the sugar is dissolved into the orange juice and that's going to be our glaze. So let's go ahead and pull the bread out. It's so beautiful. Look how pretty that is. I'm just going to use this long knife right here so I can just poke lots of long holes right into the bread. The hardest part is not wanting to put all of this glaze on one of the breads, one of the loaves. You have to split it. Oh, perfect. Look how pretty. You should come closer. Look at how pretty it is. It just kind of seeps right in there. And these are going to sit in the pan for about, oh, 10 minutes or so before we try and pull them out. Oh, perfect. Look at that. Just the color that you want. So what we're going to do is just take a little look inside and see what we got. Look, perfect. Nice and tender, flaky. You can see the poppy seeds in there. It's moist because of all of the glaze we poured over the top of it. I think this is truly a taste of home. I'm Angel Shannon. I'll see you next time right here in the kitchen.